Members of special counsel Robert Mueller's investigative team are reportedly frustrated by the conclusions drawn by Attorney General William Barr of their almost 400-page report that was released last week. Joining us now to talk about that and a couple of other controversies roiling Washington right now are reporter Rosalind Helderman, who co-wrote today's story for The Washington Post, and Lisa Desjardins, who is our Capitol Hill correspondent. So, Roz Helderman, to you first. Tell us what your reporting was, uh, is, uh, from uh, the folks who are part of the Mueller team. Sure. Uh, well, our, our understanding is that there is some, I would say, frustration or maybe distress on the part of some members of the special counsel's team uh, that the uh, bar summary letter, which came out about a week and a half ago now, did not, in their view, adequately convey all the nuance and complexity of the 400-page report uh, that they wrote. Uh, to be clear, they're not giving interviews and they're not putting out public statements, uh, but they are really, for the first time in the two years since they were appointed, uh, talking to friends and associates in a way that uh, some sense of how they view the current situation is emerging in to the public sphere. Roz, is this a majority of the Mueller investigative team, or is it a few, or how would you characterize it? I don't know that we have a great sense of that. And, you know, uh, it's important to, to note that uh, what we're hearing is from uh, secondhand sources, people who have spoken to members of the team. Uh, we have not heard from Bob Mueller himself. Uh, the special counsel's office has a spokesman that who rarely comments but does sometimes comment on, on issues. And uh, every news organization in the country has gone to him today to ask him for a comment about these reports that came out last night. Night, and uh, they have declined to comment, not to not to confirm them, but not to deny them either. Uh, so you know, this is a moment where uh, there's sort of been a, this vacuum left uh, by the attorney general, indicating uh, last weekend that he was providing the principal conclusions of the report now uh, and would be working, he said, expeditiously uh, to get the full report uh, out in a public way. Uh, but in this time period, uh, while we're all just waiting, it's kind of being being filled. This vacuum's being filled. Uh, you've got the president out there claiming total right. exoneration, and now these claims that maybe uh, there's a little bit more to this story than we know so far. So it's fair to say in, uh, that that these are people who believe that the conclusions drawn by the attorney general are softer uh, on the president than they believe that is accurate in in terms of what the report itself found. Yeah, that's our understanding. Um, we're also reporting that apparently uh, the special counsel's team, as part of their report, uh, actually wrote summaries of their own, summaries to each sort of chapter or section of the report, uh, and that there's a view among some members of the team that those were written intentionally to be easy to release. Uh, not that nothing would have to be redacted, but that the redactions were obvious and could be made quickly so that their summaries could be re released publicly quite quickly. Uh, and there's distress on their part that, uh, you know, th there is this sort of long lag time where all we've got is, is Barr's sort of summary of their summaries as opposed to, you know, the, the, the report that they spent a lot of time and a lot of effort uh, writing so that we could hear from them in their own words. Now, the Attorney General's office has pushed back on that a little bit today, right. uh, but that's our understanding of, of the special counsel team's view. And Lisa, you're talking to people on the Hill. What yeah. are Democrats saying? Well, how are they reacting to this? If there's distrust on the Mueller team, this was a spark adding to the suspicion for Democrats in the in Congress, especially in the House. And let's look at a letter that uh, Chairman of the Judiciary Committee, Jerry Nadler, just said actually in the last couple of hours to the attorney general asking for those summaries that we just heard Roz talk about that we now that she's reporting were part of the Mueller report specifically written by uh, Mr. Mueller and that's what Jerry Nadler wants. Judy, also a note, I asked Chairman Nadler when he thinks he would issue the subpoena that he now has the authorization to do. He said he thinks it could be coming soon. He did not rule out this week. So, but he's pushing to try to get this, knowing. He, he wants this report, and I think they're going to issue that subpoena before we hear, or before we get whatever documentation we're going to get from the Attorney General, because they want to be on the record as saying Congress wants all of it before they get whatever the Attorney General releases. All right, two other quick stories I want to ask both of you about. And, Roz, one of these is for you. The Washington Post uh, reported uh, in the last day or 
so about who at the White House receives security clearances uh, over the objections of folks who normally clear those. What did you learn about that? Right. Uh, well, there's been this story in the last few days about this whistleblower, a career employee, 18-year employee at the White House in the office that reviews uh, White House officials for security clearances. Uh, she apparently told Congress that she had made a list of 25 uh, White House officials or people who came through their office uh, that uh, she or other officials had expressed concerns about their security clearances and that were ultimately given clearances uh, by uh, the boss of the office. Uh, she had talked to Congress specifically about someone who was referred to in publicly released documents as senior White House official number one. Uh, we are now reporting that senior White House official number one is indeed Jared Kushner. Uh, mm. He was given his top secret clearance on uh, May 1, the very same day that Ivanka, Kush, uh, Ivanka, Ivanka Trump, I'm sorry, was also given her security clearance, uh, this whistleblower indicated that the concerns about his uh, background had to do with possible foreign influence, uh, issues around personal conduct and personal mm -hmm. finances. Fascinating. And just quickly, Lisa, right. another effort on the Hill to get the president's tax returns. What are you hearing? Spent a lot of time talking, especially to Democrats on this. They've issued this request from the House Ways and Means chairman under law. He has the ability to request any taxpayers' filings. The question is, will the IRS get back to him? And the truth is, Democrats are not sure that they will get an answer back. They actually expect to just not hear anything and have to keep sending this letter. This is an issue that could end up in court. It goes on and on. Lisa Desjardins, Roz Halderman, thank you very much. Thank you.